Hey guys, I'm Shireen with Cook This. It's strawberry season. This is my favorite time of the year. This is the time I get my kids together, we go to the local farm and pick fresh strawberries. Today I'm gonna to make for you a strawberry ricotta cheese pie. So I have a nine inch springform pan, already buttered it, the bottom, the sides, and then I have some biscotti cookies. So these are almond biscotti cookies. You can find them at any grocery store. Popped them in my food processor and grinded them up until they were nice and fine. And then just pop them right in here and shake it around. That way it evenly coats all the way on the sides and the bottom. And then now it's time for our filling. All right, so first up, I have four eggs. And then I just like to scramble them, get them in a bowl here. That way, just make sure we have no shells. I'm gonna pop it into my blender. And then, just some sugar. So I'm gonna add the sugar, whip these two together, and then add the remainder of the ingredients. So I like to add lemon zest and lemon juice into my ricotta cheese pie. It really is such an awesome addition, especially with the almond biscottis. It just makes it so bright. All right, so there's the zest. First, you obviously have to zest it. It's a great little tool too in the kitchen. It just gets your herbs or anything that you're cutting up easy off your board. So the lemon juice, that goes in. So I like to use fresh ricotta cheese and this actually is from New Jersey. And it is so milky, super creamy. It's a whole milk ricotta. It's pretty awesome. And now, so no cream cheese. This is ricotta, mascarpone cheese, simple, easy lemon juice, some eggs, and sugar. Easy breezy. So mascarpone, you'll find this in the grocery store. It's just an Italian, like an Italian cream cheese. And then just a pinch of salt to bring it all together. I'm gonna whip it up and then get it into the springform pan. All right, so our mixture is ready. Our crust is already prepared and in it goes. So I'm gonna pop this into a 375 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. So now for the sauce. We're gonna make this ourselves. It's that easy. It's strawberry season, right? We have all these strawberries. So what inspired me with this particular pie is there's a restaurant in Atlantic City called Chef Bola, and they make the most amazing ricotta cheese pie. So I wasn't even gonna to dare to try and duplicate it, but here's my inspired version. Super easy, giving you that warm, amazing, sort of comfort Italian home pie. So this is the sauce. All I'm gonna do is take, you don't wanna cut your strawberries too, too small because they actually do wither down and get really small. So all I'm gonna do is take a really large one and have it, or if it's a small one, just leave it whole. Pop them in my saucepan with some sugar. So you wanna sweeten them up. So it's gonna create a glaze, it's gonna create a sauce, a little bit of water to help get it going. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer for just until it gets a nice glaze sauce. And this is gonna go on top of our ricotta cheese pie. All right, it's out of the oven, it's set at room temperature. Oh, so it's almost that time. My kids are coming home from school. This is gonna be a special treat. They're gonna be a little extra excited today. So we have a nice little sliver. Kostas is gonna love this. He's my sweets eater. So a nice little tip. It all depends. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It just depends on the strawberries. Sometimes they will reduce down and they'll be syrupy enough that I don't need to add any cornstarch. But here, there was just a lot of extra water from the strawberries. Sometimes it happens. All you wanna do is add a little bit of cornstarch and water and then add it to the boiling uh, syrup. And you'll see that in the recipe as well. Just a nice little tip so that way you make sure your sauce is perfect. So for more of my fresh and easy recipes, check out my website at tweetneats.com or for this recipe, check out the newspaper's website. It's okay to indulge every once in a while, everything in moderation.